Hi everyone, my name is Melissa, and in this short video I want to demonstrate two approaches to a table filter challenge from Excel BI. The task is to filter out names where the second word starts with the letter C. If you haven't participated yet and want to give this a go yourself, I highly recommend it. Excel BI offers daily mini challenges on LinkedIn, so you can practice your skills and discover techniques used by others. A link to this one can be found in the description of this video. Let's go to the Power Query Editor. So let's break this problem down and let's try to use the user interface as much as possible. We are looking for a second word that begins with the letter C. On the Transform tab, I can select Extract, Text after the limiter, and I can enter a space here. Press OK. Now this is of course not what we want, but it does create a key piece of syntax for me. Let's keep the starting letter of each of these strings. In the formula bar, I'll add another fun function. Text start. You want to keep one character, press that check mark. And all that's left to do is compare this result to the letter C. So at the end, we can say equals C. Press that check mark again. Wonderful. So we've created the logic that we can use to filter our table. All we have to do is copy the syntax we see here in the formula bar. Control C to copy that. We can X out our step. Create a dummy filter. Paste back the logic that we've just created. So Control V to paste that back. I'm going to cut Control X, that column reference, and just delete the last part. Uh, see when you highlight that last bracket if that belongs to the table that select rows function. And if that's the case, then you're good to go. So instead of the underscore here, let's paste back that column selection. Press that check mark in front. Awesome. So this works. Now for my second approach, I want to do something slightly different. I want to use some different functions, but also make the comparison case insensitive. The bulk of the structure I already have in my formula bar at this moment. So what I'll do is I'll copy the syntax that we see right here and use that to build my second attempt, right? Control C to copy that. Press that affix in front. And instead of that previous step reference, paste back the code and press that check mark again. Now inside the formula bar, instead of text after delimiter, I want to split up the words in a list. To do that, I can use text.split. So text split. There it is. We're splitting the name column. That's good. And we're splitting on a space. That's good as well. Each word has its own position in the list. To extract the word that's on the second position, I can use item access. So in a set of curly brackets, I can refer to its zero-based index position. So to get to something that's at position number two, I have to enter a one here. But I also want to protect this, because if at a given moment a string is entered that contains just one word, at that time there won't be a second item in that list, and this will return an error. Changing required to optional item access will solve potential future problems. To do that, all I have to do is add a question mark at the end. So adding the question mark changes the required item access into optional item access. And that means that if an item doesn't exist in the list, 
a null is returned instead of an error. Let's also change the function text.start because I want to use a function that has an optional compare parameter. So instead of text.start, we'll use text.starts with. So comma, the substring that we're looking for is the letter C, comma, and we can use that compare function. So compare and select compare, where is it? There it is, ordinal ignore case. Select that. Don't forget the closing parentheses to table on select rows. So we're almost there. All that's left to do is see if this returns true. Let's add equals true and press that check mark. Awesome. So in this short video, you've seen two approaches to a table filter challenge. I hope you've enjoyed this one. Thank you so much for watching. All the best. Hey everyone. Thanks for tuning in to Enterprise DNA TV. If you enjoyed the content covered in this particular tutorial, please throw the video a like. It really helps us and we really appreciate it. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the Enterprise DNA TV channel. Uh, we have a huge amount of content coming out all the time from myself and a range of content creators, uh, all dedicated to improving the way that you use Power BI and the Power Platform. Lastly, check out Enterprise DNA's website, plenty of resources and further learning that you can access very easily. All the best, take care.